What up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Food Culture. Today, we're going to discuss or begin to discuss Thanksgiving. You know, you ever wonder those side dishes? You know, how does it get to the table? You have all these things to do. You have turkey, you have the ham, you have all these side dishes, but you don't have enough space. Today, we're going to show you how to cook some candy yams on the stovetop just to help you navigate through your Thanksgiving. So stick around and uh, I'll be right back. So to make those effective ingredients, we're gonna start with a sweet potato. Uh, sweet potato, or should I say, the yam, sweet potato has a, normally has a white flesh. Your yam has this beautiful orangey, orangey flesh that, you know, it's a little bit more sweetness than the sweet potato. A sweet potato has more starchiness to it. So we're gonna, this is what is normally used to make yams, you know, pretty much every year. Yams, sweet potato pie, um, such as sweet potato sauces, uh, soups, you know, or even just the sweet potato hash. So this is uh, usually gives you those great full flavors of cooking uh, this this vegetable. But today, we're going to talk about base game and we're using uh, yams. So we got, you know, infused flavors, cinnamon, nutmeg, we got some ginger, some cardamom, some bay leaf, of course, your sugars, brown sugar and your granulated sugar. And you can't forget my favorite, your favorite, butter. So let's just really continue to just run through this dish and really show you it re easy and effective way to uh, put this dish together. So I took, don't melt four ounces of the butter. I, I cut uh, three sweet potatoes. If they're smaller, you can cut more, at least one more. If they're bigger, maybe two should be uh, yeah, enough. But today we use uh, three. And we'll season that with a little salt. Now, more effective ways of with the conversation, you know, kind of move it around a little bit, but you don't move around too much. Let it settle. Got the pan wouldn't turn by the uh, vegetable as well. So potatoes have been cooking at least for six to seven minutes. You start to try to get some caramelization in it. You know, after those are pretty much will be warmed, we really nip into as much flavor as possible to keep it from potato before we add uh, the rest of the ingredients. Next, we just added two teaspoons of uh, cinnamon. We would add one teaspoon of nutmeg, another teaspoon of uh, cardamom, and also a teaspoon of ginger. So now we're just going to stir these sturdy flavors and, and spices. In the uh, sweet with the sweet to make sure and just allow it to really you really get happy. Let's start the fire down in this the tips. So if you see in the pan, those flavors are starting to settle in, and we're starting to get those fall flavors, those spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the ginger, the cardamom, smell like fall, smell like holidays. So next is we're gonna add uh, our sugar and brown sugar. So this is half a cup of sugar. Then um, I have one cup of brown sugar, kind of mix that in. And it's kind of stirred, so you know, it really so to see the sugar stuff to melt and really create its own hand to caramel sauce. So you see us start to set edge of it, you start to melt and really create a sauce. We'll let that go just for a second. And also you can't forget the bay leaves. Bay leaves also have had a nice touch, give it some flavor with a mix of compafo, makes it really stand out throughout the dish. I just see the sugar starting to melt, starting to dissolve. You see that can sauce really permeate to the tighter tails. Next we added one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna add the juice of one orange. We'll squeeze those in right there. And 
and we are juice of half a lemon. <laughs> Now you can see, you really can see husband is all candy. Hair house sauce is looking magnificent. She gives a cooking. So this, this is really going to come together in, in unison. It's like a set we all really come together just to play. Uh, so by the time the sauce reduces by at least by a quarter, then potatoes will be cooked, sauce will be thickened, flavors will be there. So only thing next is just to toss in toasted pecan then we really finish the dish. So you can see I, I've done this on the stove top, no oven because you gotta really consider your oven's gonna add your turkey, your ham, the dressing, and eat the other side this, maybe even the rolls. So you yeah. That's all occupied. I was occupied and so you have the room. So really, when playing at Thanksgiving, really think outside the box as far as how strategic you could be to really have a successful Thanksgiving. So next, we're going to add our toasted pecan. This is a cup of uh, toasted pecans. Uh, you can pre-toast these and you really sit on the side. Or, you know, sometimes for some people, if they really shortcut because they're press at times, so you, you can buy the that's toasted already. But my preference is to uh, buy raw pecan, just toast them, let those fragrances really settle in your dish. So you really, when you taste in this, you taste in that really pecan texture. As you can see the sauce has reduced, it's really come together. It's really looking good. And before we consider this, if out the bay leaves, let's get ready for a taste. Oh. No words. <laughs> it's so good. This, I mean, normally, obviously, you know, Thanksgiving's are for family style. It's often played it in a shallow bowl, or at least a bowl you can sit for, uh, for a platter on a dinner table. But, you know, today, was who this part of a little small circle. Get up more and more. This potato dish cannot miss. Very easy. We have all the ingredients in the kitchen. So when you cook this dish, know that you're getting maximum flavor and minimal effort. All right, guys. Once again, Thanksgiving edition. Easy dish. Easy to execute. This takes a little planning. This is a flavorful dish. Minimal effort. Maximum flavor. It says cooking can't be this simple. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. You'll find the recipe on my app, Food Culture, that can be downloaded on Android and Apple. So please download. You'll find other Thanksgiving recipes to really uh, bring help bring this meal together also. So take care, happy cooking, and happy holidays.